Salam everyone, welcome to this Quranic Arabic course where we're only focusing on Quranic Arabic. We're not delving that deep into all the Arabic grammar and rules and a lot of you have been finding that really, really helpful, especially if traditional Arabic uh, learning has not helped you understand the Quran. So if you're new to the channel, I do recommend watching the playlist one where we do Surah Mu'minun because that covers a lot of basics and then you can catch up on these videos and if you're a returning subscriber and you're finding these really helpful you can actually support the channel by liking and commenting on these videos and sharing them with your friends and family the more you like and comment the more youtube is going to share these videos with others so you'll actually help spread these lessons um, and inshallah you'll help benefit other people so do engage with us thank you and jazakallah khair وَذَلَّلْنَاهَا لَهُمْ فَمِنْهَا رَكُبُهُمْ Yeah, this one's the mm -hmm. writing part. رَكُبُهُمْ وَمِنْهَا يَأْكُلُونَ وَذَلَّلْنَاهَا ذَلَّلْ is to like humble. So we have humbled it for them. Mm -hmm. or like we've made the cattle submissive to them, sort of, or under their control, I guess. فَمِنْهَا um, and from it, or they ride well okay so it's just saying that they get to ride on the cattle and then also from from it they eat exactly so and then for minha rukubuhum would be like minha from it is their ride rakubuhum mm, okay it, that makes sense that makes sense is their ride mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا مَنَافِعُ وَمَشَارِبُ أَفَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ um, And for them in it are benefits وَمَشَارِبُ mm -hmm. and شَرَبْ uh, I think I remember we said it was like drink mm -hmm. Afala uh, so will they not be grateful? Very good. And masharib is um, plural. Shut mm. drink and masharib are like drinks, lots of different drinks. Okay. Oh, sorry. So what's the singular you said? Uh, sharab. Sharab? Oh, and... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Masharib is drinks, plural. Okay. Okay. Um, what the head do mean do nila he ali had tell lahum yun saloon? Um, at the head do mean do nila he the head and they took other than Allah ali had and I think is the plural of Allah, so they took gods la lahum yun saloon. So that they would be saved. So like they, in an attempt to be, well, Nasr is actually help, it's not save. Okay, so they did that in an attempt to be helped. By them, yeah, then 75. <laughs> So that's a negation. Okay, so they will not be able to help them. Um, or like, actually, I think it's saying they're not able, like, because I think this is like their help, so like they can't actually provide help to them, kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. So, um, they are not able to Nasrahum. Um, they are not able to yeah, like them support or provide them help. Yeah. Okay. Um, Nasrahum, Wahum, and they for. Well, and for them, mm -hmm. what? Oh, yes. So I guess it's like, and they, for them, are armies, 
Jund, well, no, no, Junud and Jund. Yeah. Jund is singular, Junud is plural. Yeah. Or, so Jund, 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 Jund is singular, right? It's just an army? Yeah. Okay. Or, or, hmm? or a force. A force, okay. So, Mohvarun, well, it comes from like Hadbara, which is like at, attend, like, so, and it's kind of saying there's an army that is present or in attendance. I don't know. Okay. From Hadid as well, like, oh, present. Yeah. So, this is an interesting, free, like, segment of this verse because it's translated in lots of different ways because it's quite okay. poetic so it can mean lots of different things one is that um they will not be able to grant them any help uh even though wahum lahum as in this first wahum is for the pagans and this lahum is for the idols so it's like even though the pagans are in attendance to them like a whole army and so it's translated as even though they serve the idols as dedicated guards. Okay. Mm. But it could also mean that the this if you, this home now refers to the idols and this refers to the pagans, then it's that the idols would become to the pagans a an army brought forth, like an army against them on the day of judgment. Hmm. Okay. And then there's so many. So I'm just reading from a regular Quran app, seeing lots of different translations. Mm -hmm. And Abdul Halim translated it as that they will not be able to provide them any help, even if they were to them a whole army as a mm. whole brought forth. Okay. So God knows oh what this like mm -hmm. means or yeah because actually i was wondering if it could mean sort of like more yeah on the like the day of judgment side of things if like sort of there's actually an army sort of for them that's sort of waiting that on the day of judgment as in like kind of an army against them by yeah could be or maybe it's one of those verses which means multiple things and like it means all mm. of them it wasn't all either. of them and yeah Oh, I didn't even notice it's nine. We could do this one last. Okay, cool. Um, فَلَا يَحْزُنْكَ قَوْلُهُمْ إِنَّا نَعْلَمُ مَا يُسِرُونَ وَمَا يَعْلِنُونَ So, um, basically, their word should not... I don't know what the verb that comes from grief is but like should not sadden you basically yeah. or don't let their don't let their words sadden you yeah. um certainly we know mm -hmm. what they conceal and what they reveal yeah so uh yahzunka is from hosen mm -hmm. or hazen which is grief yeah. and yahzunka like them Hazen you ka. Don't let them grieve mm -hmm. you or don't let their qawl uh, grieve you. And then you are Linun. I just wanted to mention it's like from Erlan, uh, like which means a, a, like like a, not a speech, but like something you say out loud. Erlan. Oh, really? Yeah, like on a speaker. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. and you said, yeah. Sir, Sir is secret, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Cool. Good job. I forgot to keep track of time, so I we didn't get a chance to do the revision thing like we did yet the other day. But it's okay next time, inshallah. Inshallah. Good job as always. Thank you. <laughs> See you on Sunday, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Have a good rest of your week. Then. Thank you. You too. All right. Salam. Alaikum salam. So that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Let me know how you found the lesson. And if you've got any questions, also share with your friends and family so that they can also benefit. And remember us in your prayers. Keep revising. Assalamu alaikum.